What's up, everybody? Welcome to Klushka Picks, week six of the NFL season. And I am filming this on Monday before the Monday Night Football game, so I'm not going to be saying much about the Bears and Vikings because that game hasn't happened yet. And I haven't counted it towards my personal record, but by the time I do all the editing for this, that game will probably be over and I'll throw it in at the end. So let's get started. Eagles and Panthers, that is a Thursday night game, and I feel like this is going to be a good one on Thursday. Uh, the Eagles are having a good season. They just beat the Cardinals very easily. The Panthers played a very good game against the Lions, and they came out on top. Cam looked very well. The Panthers looked very well. And I think that's what's going to continue in this week. I think the Panthers are going to be the better team. I think they're starting to be the Panthers of old, and that's a scary team to face. And I think that Panthers team will win 27-23. The Falcons and the Dolphins. The Dolphins beat the Titans last week. They did not have Mariota. That was a huge part why. And the Falcons were on a bye week. The Falcons are a great offense. The Dolphins have Jake Cutler, and it's like iffy over there. And But, like, Atlanta, you know they're a great team. And I think they're going to get the win, 31-17. Bears and the Ravens. The Ravens beat the Raiders last week without Derek Carr. I told you, without Derek Carr, I felt like they were not going to win that game, and they didn't. And uh, the Bears, they, uh, they're they playing the Vikings, like I said, and I haven't watched that game yet. It hasn't happened yet. So I don't have much to say. But they do struggle, and I feel like this is a game of two struggling teams. But I feel like the Ravens are the better team, and I feel like they're going to win 21-10. The Browns and the Texans. The Texans lost to the Chiefs. I mean, they put up a good fight. I mean, they got like 30 points on them. And the Chiefs are still undefeated, but like when you can do that against an undefeated team, that's pretty good. And uh, the Browns lost to the uh, Jets. And uh, yeah, so I think Houston is the way better team. Browns are struggling. They took out Kaiser last week. And I think the Texans will win 27-10. The Packers and the Vikings. Like I said, Vikings haven't played yet uh, as I'm filming this. But uh, Packers came back against the, uh, the Cowboys. Aaron Rodgers pulled out some magic like he's known to do. And I feel like this will be an interesting game. I feel like the Packers are the better team, though. Their offense is just great. And I think they'll win 24-20. Okay, the Lions and the Saints. And the Saints are at home, and that's always a huge factor. If the Saints are at home, they always seem to play better, especially Drew Brees. And the Lions, they lost to the Panthers last week. And I feel like... Just because the Saints are at home, I feel like that's going to make this game a lot better than what most people are thinking. Don't forget, the Saints are playing pretty good lately, too. I think they will win 34-24. The Patriots and the Jets. The Patriots got very lucky last week that Nick Folk is a bad kicker. He missed three field goals. If he made all of those, then that game would have uh, been tied easily. But uh, he did not. And uh, so that allowed the Patriots to win. And that does not mean they were perfect in that game. The Buccaneers gave them quite a fight. And uh, the Jets are riding a three-game winning streak. And I think the Patriots will win because I feel like they are a better team than the Jets by far. But I think the Jets will make it somewhat close, actually. I think the Patriots will win 23-20. The Redskins and the 49ers. The 49ers lost to the Colts in overtime. And the Redskins were on a bye week last week. Um, the 49ers, uh, I don't, their offense can be iffy, and, but they have good pieces on their offense in Hyde, Garcon, and, uh, the Redskins, they seem like they were clicking the last time they played, going back to that Redskins offense that's good and dominant, and maybe Terrell Pryor is starting to figure it out there with Kirk Cousins, and I feel like the defense of the 49ers is not the greatest, so I think it'll be a good offensive day of both teams. And I think the Redskins will win 31-24. to The Buccaneers and the Cardinals. Cardinals were destroyed by Philadelphia. The Buccaneers put up a good game against the Patriots. Uh, I feel like the Cardinals, without David Johnson, they struggle. And it puts a lot more pressure on Carson Palmer. And the Buccaneers, uh, their defense is what's killing them. It's all banged up. And I feel like they still have a good offense, though. Deshaun Jackson and Mike Evans, that's a great combo. And I think... This will be a win for the Buccaneers, and I think it'll be kind of close. I think it'll be 21-16 Buccaneers. Here's a matchup of two surprising teams this year, the Rams and the Jaguars. The Jaguars just beat the Steelers, a very good team. And uh, their defense is looking like it's real. And I'm starting to feel it, and I think Jacksonville might be headed in a good direction. Um, 
Blake Bortles is not the best quarterback, but Leonard Fournette gets the job done. And then on the other side with the Rams, they just lost to the Seahawks, my Seahawks. And uh, I will say we did not go in there and dominate them. We, it was a very, like, down-to-the-last-minute game. And then uh, I think this game's going to be really close. Both of these teams have a lot to prove this year. And I think they're going to have a good future coming for them. But in this matchup, I see the Jaguars winning 24-23. Okay, the undefeated Chiefs and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Like I said, undefeated. And the Steelers are struggling. It seems like I just was watching a video not too long ago, a couple minutes ago, of Big Ben being interviewed. And he seems like he just, he's off. He has, it seems like his confidence is very low right now. And uh, that's not good for everyone around him. Antonio Brown, Le'Veon Bell. When your leader, the quarterback, is not confident, that affects everyone. So, I feel like the struggles are going to continue until they get that figured out. And plus, they're just playing a very good team in the Chiefs. And I feel like the Chiefs will win 27-17. The Chargers and the Raiders. The Chargers got their first win last week against the Giants. And uh, the Raiders lost to uh, the Ravens. Like I said, they don't have Derek Carr. They still don't have Derek Carr. And I feel like that's going to make their struggles continue until Derek Carr comes back. And the Chargers, Melvin Gordon's looking good. Phillip Rivers still struggling, but it, he's definitely a better option than the EJ Manuel, I think, is the Raiders quarterback right now. And I think he, he can lead a team better, definitely. And I think the Chargers will win 23-20. The Giants and the Broncos. The Giants lost Odell Beckham Jr. for the season. We already saw what one game was like without him, and that was, like, that was just terrible. They also lost Sterling Shepard in that game and Brandon Marshall. So, like, that's your three receivers right there. I don't even know who's next in line. So, uh, it's going to be a struggle for the Giants offense, definitely. It already was, but without... Without those receivers, I can't even imagine. And then uh, the Broncos, they are uh, great defense. Offense has been pretty good this year. And they were on a bye week last week also. And uh, I think they're going to get an easy win over the Giants. I think they will win 20-13. to 13. And finally, the Colts and the Titans, both having quarterback troubles because their quarterbacks are hurt. Mariota's hurt, which is making Matt Castle play. And then Luck is hurt, which makes Jacoby Brissett play. Uh, I feel like Jacoby Brissett is doing all right in his time uh, taking over for Andrew Luck. And both of these teams, I feel like, are going to struggle this weekend. I feel like it might be a defensive battle, like turnovers, turnover-wise. And uh, I feel like the Colts, though, just because Brissett's been starting for more weeks and he's gotten a little more used to it, I feel like they will win the Colts 20-17. to All right, and if you did not hear your team, these are the teams that are on buys. The Bills, Bengals, Cowboys, and Seahawks. Yep, my team's not playing this week, unfortunately. But we ended last week with a win, so I'll take that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in Clutch Picks Week 7.